my name is Marjo and I'm from Switzerland, but I've been serving with my husband, uh, Simi, and our four children in Jordan for 10 years now in the Middle East. And uh, I've been with King's Kids since 1989, so that's quite a long time. And when I first joined the ministry, I was uh, from a non-believing background. So King's Kids taught me basically everything about my relationship with God. And it's been a privilege to, yeah, through this ministry, get to know the Lord and uh, be at His service. And it's my uh, vision and dream today that other young people would have the experience of, um, of knowing God firsthand and knowing what He has for their lives and to be motivated and to be given platforms to discover their calling and to be serving Him all around the world, no matter where He sends them and in all areas of society. And one of my favorite values, I would actually have a lot of stories to, talk, to tell about several of those values, but one of them is um, listening to God's voice. And I remember when I joined my first King's Kids camp in Barcelona in 1989, uh, I received confirmation pa papers that was accepted for the camp. It was written that we will listen to God's voice together. And I was so naive and not from a Christian family. And I thought they would put us in a room with loudspeakers and we would hear the Lord speaking. And so I discovered that was not quite the way to do it. But uh, King's Kid helped me to know, you know, how to hear God's voice for myself. And um, the next year after that, I joined my first uh, King's Kids Summer Outreach in Canada. And during this outreach, the Lord spoke to me very strongly that I would be serving Him as a full-time missionary. So that was uh, the first part of my calling. The year after that, I wanted to join my first uh, English-speaking outreach with uh, King's Kids in the UK. And when the leaders prayed for me, they felt that I should enjoy the outreach that I, signed up, that I signed for, but I should be joining an outreach for ethnic minorities, so Muslim, Hindus. And through, I prayed as well, and the Lord confirmed this in my heart. And after joining that outreach, um, the Lord really broke my heart and shared His heart for the Muslim world, for the Arabs, for the Middle East. And I joined several uh, short-term outreaches with King's Kids to the Middle East until one day uh, I went to serve him there full-time. So I can really say that um, yeah the Lord is able to give us a calling when we're still very young and it's my heart that other young people would uh, know to hear his voice and to dream with the Lord for the future. And several times in my life, I've seen how the Lord has spoken to me and spoken to my leaders at the same time. For example, for this first outreach to Canada when I was 15 years old, I had never been on a King's Kids Summer Outreach, um, but I had done some, you know, King's Kids uh, year round in Switzerland. And I heard that they needed a choreographer for the dances and they didn't have anyone. Not none of the people who used to teach choreography were available. And the Lord spoke to me, uh, Marshall, you could do this. Um, you could be the one. But I was like, I'm only 15 and I've never done it. But somehow the Lord spoke in my heart and I knew I could do it. But I, I felt shy about saying anything because I was like, well, I don't want to put myself forward. So I prayed and said, Lord, if you want me to teach the choreographies, you need to speak to the team leader about it. And this team leader didn't even know me personally, so she didn't have a, a clue of whatever my talents or abilities. Um, which, by the way, before I joined King's Kids were not in dancing, <laughs> but in football. Anyway, so I prayed. I said, God, you need to speak to her. The next day, I received a phone call from the team leader saying, hey, we were praying, and the Lord put your name on our heart about uh, teaching the choreographies to the, the group. So... That's how I started teaching choreography to 30 uh, participants when I had never done it before. So King's Kids uh, was there to uh, champion me in my abilities and talents. And I had many opportunities to yeah, develop what I was good at. And it's my heart that yeah, young people 
will hear his voice, dream with God, and just go and do it all around the world. Thank you.